So this is our thruster, guys. Jump and shrug, rack position. From here, as coaches, you guys are looking for that loose fingertip grip, elbows up, you set his feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna go through three to five squats. As coaches, you're looking at those points of performance that we went over today with the squats. I'm looking at that, go ahead and give me three. I'm looking at that neutral spine. I'm looking at that depth. I'm looking at the uh, knees tracking over the toes. I'm looking at the weight on the heels. There's a lot going on, but I'm going through my checklist. If I see that his elbows are down, I give him a cue. Hey, get your elbows up. If his knees are coming in, hey, push your knees out a little bit more. Hey, wait on your heels and so on. Be verbal. You guys are here to learn how to coach. Don't be afraid to give a coaching cue. I promise you, your athlete will appreciate it. Ready and go. Reset. Hey, get all over Josh's elbows. Ready and go. Oh, I'm all over you. Yeah, much better. Let him know. Hey, that was good. From here, he'll switch into a closed grip position. His elbows will drop ever so slightly, but the feet are gonna stay the same, okay? From here, we'll execute five, three to five push press, a dip drive and a press. I'll say ready and go. Freeze. You guys are looking at that midline stabilization. Are those ribs popping out? Is that bar in that frontal plane right over the midfoot? You guys are giving them cues if you don't. Get to it. Also, look at that rib cage. What does that look like? He's really letting that. Oh, there he fixes it. Here, what are we seeing with the ribs? What can we do to? Yeah, maybe lock that. So give him a cue. Give him a cue. And you guys can get in there and get tactile too as he's going through this. If I see the ribs out, I'm like, Andreas, lock that down. Good, that's what I'm looking for. Right, I'm reminding him that I want that, those abs nice and tight. Hey, I might cue him. Hey, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. So he has that strong foundation to press from. He's gonna go all the way down. When his legs straighten, that's when he's gonna press. So that core to extremity movement, ready and go. Now from the top position, in slow motion, the elbows are gonna break forward. Once the bar passes his eyes, it's like, hey, it's starting to become time to go down. The bar touches his torso. That's the button that sends him into a squat. Really hard to control, right? Guys, come here, come here too. So check out his descent. He's, he's bringing the bar down a little bit early, right? So we, that cue, right when the bar passes his eyes and started to touch his torso, that's the light switch. It's like, hey, it's time to make my descent. I don't want to start going down too early. Third and fourth rep was really good. Wait for that timing piece. Yeah, it touches, good descent, much better. You guys seeing that? The bar's starting to touch, that's his descent. Now this is the difficult piece, right? We're watching to make sure that the hips open first before the press. That's that core to extremity piece that we're watching. So you guys are giving cues, elbows, knees, making sure that the timing piece is correct. What we don't wanna see is the press happening first. And this is what it looks like. The press, he's pressing before the hips open. So again, hey, delay the press. Wait till you feel your legs lock before you press. This is stuff you'll be coaching. Everything, good depth. Yeah, and relax. I mean, these aren't as, as strong as those hips, so we really want to have him delay that press until he feels really? his butt squeeze or his, his legs straighten. And now, there you go. Flex the quads and punch. Now. You guys see the difference, the hips? So he goes in and out of that. Great, come on over. Jerry, we had some good moments in there, right? Had some good moments where you felt it, right? And all of a sudden, what happens to the weight? It feels a lot lighter, right? And then we do that wrong one and it feels heavier. So I don't know about you guys, but I want 95 pounds to feel like 95 pounds, not like 120, right? <laughs> that, does he kind of overextend to the top? Like yeah, and relax for a second. We saw the ribs sticking out, right? We want to lock that down. What about his speed in comparison to the Alex number two? <laughs> what about his speed? Could he, could he come up faster? Yeah, the faster I open up the hips, the more power is going up toward the bar. Does that make sense? So I like this point where I'm just about to extend, that has to be fast. That gets lightning sent up to that bar, and we want lightning, we want fast. Come up faster, punch! Oh, that's good speed. And relax, great. Was he overextended as much, or was it much better? What do you think about the speed? Better, but we started to see once we sped him up, where did the elbow start to go? 
yeah, so th there's a lot going on there with coaching. You're like, man, where do I go? This pops up, this pops up. So you have to be really judicious thinking about where do I want to go? What do I want to attack first? I don't want to overwhelm him with, hey, three things are wrong. I want to be really simple, fix one, and then speed him up until something breaks down, fix the rest. Does that make sense, guys? We really triage it.